So to begin, I create a basic box because I could not be bothered to find something more interesting. Then we separate the top face, which we'll use as the lid. We transform it. Then we give the box name attribute and the lid, a separate name attribute. Then we add some color just for added interest. Then we merge those. Then we use a transform sub to do some basic uh, scale animation uh, so that we can add some interest to the RBD bullet simulation. Then we pack these using an assembly sub. Also make sure to uncheck the create name attribute because we already manually created the name attributes up here and we want to use those. Uh, then we use a point velocity sub to compute both the velocity and angular velocity because what happens when this uh, scale animation happens, we want to compute the point velocity and angular velocity so that we can inherit those in the bullet simulation in DOPS. So we use a point, uh, point sub to do that, the point velocity sub to do that. Then we use a point wrangle to just add some uh, add some values to the velocity and the uh, angular velocity, again, just for added interest. Then we use a split sub to split the box and the lid into separate uh, pack objects because we want to give those separate values in the DOP simulation. Then to create the constraints, we do those after the scale animation, but before we turn it into a packed object. And we use the connect adjacent pieces uh, sub to create the, uh, the constraints. You can see the constraints here because the lid and the box are so close together, the constraints scale down to zero. But if we should move the lid away slightly and select the connect adjacent pieces up, you can see those constraints right there. Then into the, oh, yep. So it's two separate constraints. So we use the same constraints to create two separate constraint networks. So we have one soft constraints, which only affect the rotation. And then we have one hard constraint, which only affects position. Uh, then into the dot network. So here we have two separate pack objects, one for the uh, box and one for the box lid. And the only difference between those is that on the physical tab, we change the density of the box lid to 10 from the default of 1000 because we want the lid to be lighter than the box. Then it comes to the constraints. So we use the constraint network to bring in the soft constraint and to bring in the hard constraint. And we use the bullet soft constraints to set up the soft constraints, bullet hard constraints to set up the hard constraint, make sure the name match with whatever you give to it in SOPs. Uh, then the bullet solver, the only change we made to the bullet solver was to increase the number of sub steps from 10 to 30 and uh, a ground plane for our collisions, merge that in. And then we use the gravity force and let's look at our beautiful results there we go box with floppy lid